I talked in the last episode of having a very weak connection, if if almost no connection to whiteness as an identity of myself, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I hear you that people perceive me that way and then that comes with certain things. In your ideal world, if you can wave a magic wand about the way things are, would you identify with your color? Like, would that even be an identity? Okay, so that's two different things. So you're, the premise, the, the assertion there is that color equals race. And that's not necessarily true because there are plenty, because I get mistaken for all kinds of races all the time. Yeah. Um, so there are plenty of people who look like me that are not of the African diaspora. Yeah. Um, and there are plenty of people who do. So I'll answer the question, would, would, if I could wage a wand, wave a wand, would I identify with the black race? For me, I can't answer that question. And it's a bit self-indulgent because there is just no alternate reality. But to indulge, um, I don't see why I wouldn't because African cultures have been, and I because I've done the ancestry DNA, um, I know which African cultures I'm approximately a part of, like, you know, approximately. And they're just as splendorous and wonderful and part of world history as anything else. So I wouldn't want to be anything else because I do already come from something great. But so does everyone else in the world. We all come from something great. And I like I really love history and I really am bold over it. I was, I've been literally crying all weekend watching these pride movies because I've been watching pride movies from all over the world, like uh, Germany and Holland and China and everything. You know, and it's just the world's people are so beautiful and they want the same thing. And we all come from something that's wonderful and splendorous, but maybe sometimes for whatever intention got perverted and sold as different than what it really was in its soul and at its core. And that's unfortunate, but that gives us work to do as human beings. We have to find our way back to that splendor and seeing the splendor in one another. So I hear you on connecting with kind of where your heritage came from. I guess my question is specifically around color itself, right? Like why would it not be, I come from some part of Africa, right? Why would it be in the ideal world? Why would it be I'm identifying as black, right? Why would it not be I, have this, color I have this heritage I have this heritage that I come from, you know, just think about to, to compare it to my example. It's not that I have the strongest Jewish identity related, you know, relative to other people in the Jewish community, but I would certainly be Jewish first before white or um, Californian first. It's funny that you say that. Californian often, even first before. I've often said I'd be gay first before black. Not often. I've had, yeah, I would. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would. But to answer your question, for all of us, if I could wave a wand, then our color shouldn't matter at all. Okay. Like we just. So if you could wave a wand, so why do you think the motivation is then behind identifying? So if if the ideal is we don't call ourselves black people, white people, mm -hmm. or otherwise mm -hmm. brown people, other colors that have been used in history, mm -hmm. red, yellow, right, um, which are not currently owned, right? Um, why, what then, if that's not the ideal, what do you think the motivation is behind identifying? Uh -huh. black? To watch the rest of that episode, go ahead and click the video below me. To see a different compelling Healing Race episode, you can click the video below me. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.